Welcome to another Jay Crazy News headlines on a special Sunday evening to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers. This is the parish of St. Catherine. Wednesday evening, a cab driver was shot and killed by criminal elements. Now his name is Leon Peters, a cab driver. Now based on information, he was shot and killed by criminal elements yesterday evening along Gillette Street in Linston, St. Catherine. Now Leon operates his route from Linstead to the Commodore District in St. Catherine. Now Leon makes it the second cab driver to be killed who operates the Commodore to Linstead route. Now in October 12, Gary Russell was shot and killed in the Commodore District while operating his tap. On October 12, at exactly 8.30 p.m., residents heard an explosion in the community. They called the police. On arrival, they saw Gary Russell, who was 51 years of age at that time, seen with gunshot wounds to his body. He was in his driver's seat. While in his Toyota Probox motor vehicle, Gary Russell died in the hospital. Now the police are asking anyone with any information on the murder of Leon Peters, which took place yesterday, you can give information to the Linstead Police or the Spanish Town Police Station. Now in our video, Leon Peters was seen with gunshot wounds to the upper body and also his head lying outside his motor vehicle. The police are investigating. Now we head towards Wakefield Trelawney where a woman is on the run after killing her husband in Wakefield Trelawney. Now dead is David Brown who is 50 years of age. Now David Brown and his wife allegedly had domestic dispute at their home that they shared together on Saturday morning which was yesterday. Now based on information, our residents described the relationship between Brown and his wife to be very toxic. Now based on information, yesterday morning residents heard screams and commotion involving the woman and David Brown, the husband. Now during that dispute, around 7 a.m., a piece of block believed to use as the final blow was taken by the police for evidence. However, the woman, who is the wife, is on the run. Now, based on information, it's alleged that she reported the matter to the police before they got into a physical dispute. Now, based on information, is that the first they have been these kinds of dispute. Which means that there are continuous domestic dispute between the couple. Now, as I said before, the wife is on the run and she's been sought by the police. Even though she put the matter, she's still in trouble and she could be charged for murder because she run left the scene. So therefore, her plea for self-defense don't really seem valid anymore because she run left the scene. So therefore the police can't charge her for murder. She gave away her right. Now, if she's held, she could be prosecuted and face time behind bars. As me always say, you know, to couples, if you can't get along, it's best to move on. Now we head towards the parish of St. Anne, where a security guard was shot and killed during a robbery in Oaks River, Ulterius. Now dead is 21-year-old Surrey Parsons of a St. Mary address. Now based on information, Parsons and four others were the premises in the area when gunmen came on the scene approximately 11 p.m. The gunmen came to the scene and started demanding money. When the demands was not made, they opened fire, hitting Parson 
multiple times. The gunmen proceed to rob other individuals and left with a sum of money. Then they escaped successfully. The persons were rushed to hospital where Parson succumbed to his injuries while others were treated. Now, I always say this to individuals, why is this being robbed when a gun is pointed exactly at you? Why risk your life for vanity and items? I always tell persons, the wise thing to do is give the gunmen whatever you have. Do not resist. Resisting will cost you your life. And see there, 21 years of age, security guard, Sure Parson, losing life, all because he refused to cooperate with the criminals. People in a worth it. Your life is more valuable than even money and other possessions. If you are being robbed, comply. Do not refuse. Do not hold up any resistance. Now we head towards the parish of Westmoreland, where last night a fisherman was shot and killed in Russia, Savlamar. Now based on information, 21-year-old Kemoy Wilson, aka Moy, who is from Rickett Street in the parish of Westmoreland, was standing along the roadway with another man at exactly 10.55 p.m. last night, where a Voxy bus pulled up a Toyota Voxy minibus. Two gunmen came from the vehicle with two handguns, where they opened fire at Wilson and a man who ran in different directions. After the smoke was clear, the gunmen escaped successfully. Wilson and the other man were seen suffering from gunshot wounds. Both men took hospital in Sablamar, where Wilson was pronounced dead. The other man is in hospital nursing serious gunshot wounds. The police are investigating. Now residents are in fear, they are shocked and they are wondering what is going on because for almost a year they haven't seen any acts of violence and now the ending of this year they have seen one man killed in the ear. Now before that, the last killing took place last year, where in June, a 17 year old was shot and killed in the area. Now head towards Canada, in Mississauga, Canada, west of Toronto, where early this morning, a shooting took place of a 19 year old female. Now, she was the only one who succumbed to her injuries at the hospital. Other persons were shot and injured in the attack. Now, this nightclub was having an event where dancer artist Malidan was one of the acts at the nightclub. However, this shooting took place outside the club. Now, the young lady who lost her life is a Jamaican. Her name is 19 year old Ranila, who is a Jamaican was 19 years old. Now she was killed outside the club while she was in a line trying to go into the club. Now based on information about 1.30 a.m. this morning, Ranelia and other images were in a line to go into the club to see acts like Malidan. When a shooting took place, more than one person were hit in that shooting. A random shooting to be exact, where Ranelia took the hospital where she was pronounced dead. Other individuals were injured in the attack. Toronto police are saying that this was an act of random shooting and so far there is no motive as yet which led to this brutal attack. However, this young lady's life was lost, only 19 years of age. Now you have seen throughout the year Jamaicans 
losing their lives overseas in gun attack. They're losing their life in Jamaica and losing their life overseas. This is very, very sad. To the family of Ranida, condolences and Mira soul, rest in peace. This is Jay Crazy. Again, until then, have a blessed and safe Sunday evening. Yeah man, I'm here to see a black legend. I'm here to represent for Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe and share out the thing. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity marks that movements are free. Jay Crazy not play with him and review the thing then. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity marks that movements are free. Jay Crazy not play with him and review the thing then. We do the thing then, we do the thing then Jack Crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle We do the thing then, we do the thing then Jack Crazy